Good day everybody, my name is Cornelius Azolibay and today we will just be looking at how to find the magnitude and direction of resultant forces. The magnitude simply means the the length, like if, we, if we're talking in terms of um, distance and all this stuff, it's the length, how much, how much is put into this, how much, and it's like, easy example is this, if a force of five newtons vertically is pulling an object and a force of three newtons, another force of three newtons is pulling the object horizontally. What is the resulting force? What is the total force being added to the object in that direction? Simply, you look at your, your question, draw up a simple diagram to illustrate what they're asking and what you're given. You are given three newtons and five newtons and you are asked to, uh, you are asked to find this, the magnitude and direction of this. Simply, we use the, um, the Pythagoras theorem and that simply says C squared is equals to A squared plus B squared. When we look at this, our C is this, and we have these two. You could name this A, B, or A, B. It doesn't really matter in this case. So, C squared is equal to, I'll use this as A, and I'll use this as B. Our A is 3 newtons, so we'll put 3 squared. And our B is 5 newtons, plus 5 squared. And when it, when you calculate that, it will give you c squared is equals to nine plus twenty five. Sorry about my handwriting; it's just hard to write with this and with a, such with such a small board. So now we have this nine plus twenty five. That will give you thirty four. So c squared is equals to thirty four. Now we have c squared is equal to 34, but what we're looking for isn't c squared. We are looking for c. So how do you make this c squared turn into a c? Well, you could simply do that by taking the square root of both sides. So when you take a square root of c squared, anything squared, you have to take the square root of the other side, 34. This square root sign cancels off this our square over here. And the square root of 34 is that's 5.8. So our C, our resultant force, is 5.8. But then this isn't complete. You won't you wouldn't get full mass for writing that. You have to remember your units. 5.8 what? It might be 5.8 centimeters, it might be 5.8 this or that. So remember, your units are always given here. 5.8 newtons. Your unit, always remember your unit. That's for the magnitude. I'm just going to rub this off so I could do, I have space for the, um, finding the direction. Okay. Now we found the magnitude, which was 5.8. We now need to find the direction. When looking at the direction, since we already have this 5.8, we need to find the direction. So we need to, we're going to use this um, angle. So we'll call this theta. And looking at theta, what do we have? What are we, what are we given? We have the adjacent which is 3, and we have the hypotenuse, which is 5.8. I remember, when you're trying to find an angle, the angle to something, you look at these two, and since we have the adjacent and hypotenuse, I say, the way I do it is I write this, adjacent and hypotenuse, so the A, A and H. And if you remember from your work, probably in um, high school, Remember this simply car. And car means cos. 
So what we can do is cos theta, because that's the an angle we need to find, theta is equal to, what this simply means is we have the so ka and toa. The ka means adjacent, which is this, over divided by the hypotenuse, which is 5.8. So my adjacent is 3 over 5.8. And we have that. Now, to find this thing, we can't really get the answer now but because we have this cost there. To find this, we take the inverse cost. So that will give us, on your calculator, it should just be the shift and the cosine um, sign. So we have the cos 3 over 5.8. And this will give us the angle theta. So cos 3, 5.8. That will give us 58.85. And we can simply um, put that in one decimal place, and that'll be 58.9. But then you could press this button over here to give you the angle, the the whole um, degrees and minutes. So I'll do that, and it gives me 58 degrees, 51 minutes. And that is our, our angle. That is this angle over here. I'll just write that down. Or you could just simply say 59. It depends on how you want to do it. Now we have this. We, ha we don't have the direction though. We have the um, angle but no direction. And simply you could just see this. Remember our uh, signs? North, East, South, West. Where is this facing? It's going that way. So it's going this way. And that's simply not east. So what I like to do is my final answer would be not 58 or let's just say 59. 59 degrees. east because that's north and that's east and this is how i just like to leave my answer and that's the final answer that's the um your direction so at the end of the day your final answer would be the magnitude and direction is 58 5.8 newtons and the direction is north 59 east and this is the final answer thank you for watching this is my first video so I may I made I may have made some mistakes please if you find any mistakes in what I've done please correct me by um, commenting just down below or just by sending me a message and telling me that because I'm always willing to learn because this is my first year in university. So I would love your replies and um, your feedback. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something from it.